How to create a custom Windows 11 ISO with pre-installed software for free, easy tutorial. Here you can see I have already downloaded the Windows 11 disk image on my computer. But if you don't know how to download it, you can open any web browser on your computer and then type to search Windows 11 ISO. Click to open the official Microsoft page. Move down and select Multi-Edition ISO for 64-bit. Click on Download Now. Click to choose your language of choice, and then after click on Confirm. Click on 64-bit download to start downloading the disk image. Here you can see the download will start, but for me, I have already downloaded the image let me just close this. Again. Here click to search VMware Workstation. Click to open the first link. But please if you don't know how to download and install this program, again the video is in the description below. So, download and install it. After having all the program set, now click on start. Here type in VMware Workstation. Click to open. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Here leave it in a typical option and click on Next. Select I will install the Operating System Later option and click on Next. Click on Microsoft Windows and set the version to Windows 11. Click on Next. Here enter the password and click on Next. Set the amount of disk size that you would like to use and click on Next. Now on this page, click on the Customize Hardware option. Set the memory that you would like to use for your virtual machine. Again, select the number of processors for your virtual machine. Click on CD or DVD. Select Use ISO Image File. Browse to choose the Windows 11 disk image. Click on Display. Uncheck Accelerate 3D Graphics option. After click on Close. After configuring your machine well. Click on Finish. Up here click on Power on this virtual machine. Press Enter on your keyboard. Here click on Next. Click on Install Now. Choose I don't have a product key option. Select the operating system you want to install and then click on Next. Here click on Next. Then, from there, Windows will start to copy and install files. So here you have to be patient depending on your computer speed. But please if you are new don't forget to like, and subscribe for more tech videos. Okay. Here select your country region and then click on Yes. Select your keyboard layout and then click on Yes. Click on the Skip option. Now when you reach on this option. To bypass this all what you have to do is. Press the Shift key plus F10 on your keyboard. Here enter this code. Press enter on your keyboard. Your machine will restart. Again, click on yes. 
Yes. Choose skip. Now here you can click on I don't have internet option to continue with the installation. Enter your username and click on next. The setup will do its work. Done. Now here you can see we have successfully installed the operating system on the computer. Next. Let me make full screen. Just click on the VM option. Here select install VMware tools. Click to run the setup. Here just follow the instructions to complete the setup. Now you can see we have a full screen mood. Okay. Now let me install the programs that I want before creating the custom disk image. Open any web browser and then type in google.com. Type to search Ninite. Hit enter on your keyboard. Click to open on this first website. Here select the applications you want to pre-install. Move down and click on Get Your Ninite. Download the installer and run it to install all selected apps. If you have other software that you want to have pre-installed, you can go on install them before creating the image. Done. After selecting and installing the programs that you need, now it's time to go into another step. Click on Start and Search CMD. Right-click and run it as an administrator. Enter the following command. The machine will restart. After restarting, click on Start and type in the control panel. Click to open. Click on User Accounts. Click on Manage Another Account. Choose the other account that we created first. Here it is. Now click to delete the account. Now this process will take some time so you have to be patient. Now insert the external drive or flash drive that we are going to use to create the disk image. Here click to see the disk later. For this video is later E, so you have to note it down for the next process. Click on start and type in run. Click to open. Type sysprep and hit enter. Click to run the sysprep application. Select System Out of Box Experience, OOBE. Here check Generalize. And set Shutdown options to shut down the machine. Click on OK. 
Now this process again will take some time. Again, here click on start the machine. Press the space bar on your keyboard to start the VMware workstation in the boot menu. Select this option and then press enter on your keyboard. Press enter on your keyboard. OK. Now insert your external drive. Select connect to the virtual machine. Here click on next. Now select repair your computer. Click on troubleshoot. Click on the command prompt option. Here enter the letter C and the colon. Press enter. Enter DAR and press enter. Here is the drive where Windows is currently installed in the VM. Now enter letter E. And press enter. This is the drive where your new image file will be saved. Now enter these codes. Press enter. This will start to save the image, and this will take some time so you have to be patient. Once it's completed, type exit and hit enter. Set up your windows as we did in the first process. Done. Now you can see all the programs that we installed are still on the computer. Here you can see the image that we have created. Now it's time to create our disk image. and then shut down this virtual machine. Click to open any web browser that is on your computer. Type to search any burn. Click to open this first website. Click download. Click to download the software. After downloading, click to install the software. Now click on the edit image file to modify the original Windows ISO. Click on browse. Now select the original disk image of Windows 11. Click on source. Move down and then remove this install.vim option. Now click on add.
Browse our created image that we created through a virtual machine. Select it. Rename your image and click on Create Now. Done. Now we have successfully created the Windows 11 disk image with pre-installed programs. You can now create a bootable USB drive and install it into your computer. And even you can use Rufus or Power ISO. Install Windows and confirm that all your programs are pre-installed. That's how you can create a custom Windows ISO file with pre-installed programs. So, I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe, and even enable the notification bell. See you next time.